Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, some bad news in terms of security. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about it. Um, somebody actually asked me to talk about it and how dangerous this is. Um, so, for now, a lot of people are targeting the um, gigabyte motherboards, which are vulnerable to attacks at the firmware level, which means that malware can be implanted in the motherboard's UEFI BIOS, which means it is there before anything else. And that's not um, easy to detect or even unable. And anything that you'll do will not detect it because it will load before you do anything. So it can already do its damage and, you know, prevent, for example, uh, malware or antivirus software from detecting. It all comes with um, the fact that four security flaws were discovered, and these can be exploited to um, create low-level uh, intrusions and, um, you know, back doors and all sorts of things can be done with this. The first company to uh, get notice of it uh, was American Megatrans uh, AMI. They fixed the problem on their motherboards, but it seems that a lot of the American Megatrans code is also present on the Gigabyte motherboards. And the problem is Gigabyte itself did not implement the updates, the security fixes. So that's why Gigabyte is being pointed right now because it seems that motherboards and some have counted up to 240 different motherboards right now are vulnerable to this. The other thing to note is that it's not just Gigabyte. It would seem that other manufacturers could also be vulnerable to this problem. So what security researchers are saying is that we should go to the uh, manufacturer either if you built your own system the manufacturer the motherboard to see for the latest firmware updates or if it's a system that's been built for you or it's a laptop or things like that then go to the manufacturer of your pc just check to see if there's uefi firmware updates available and apply the latest update now the how dangerous is this this is the question actually that it was mostly asked it is low level, meaning that the chances of you having a problem with that as a standard user at home is very low. But this pinpoints mostly, and actually the real problem is if any of these motherboards are used in enterprise and, and you know, places where security is a, a very important factor, uh, this is where it could be a problem. But for regular users at home, uh, the chances of having anything going bad because of this is not very high. And so you shouldn't worry even if you don't patch your system. But um, many researchers are saying, you know, if you can, if you know how to do it, uh, go and check out for updates on the firmware, UEFI firmware of your motherboards, especially if you've got a gigabyte motherboard and even if you don't, well, go and check it out. It would seem that maybe some other manufacturers could be affected too. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.